All right, we sunk some points into Abe here, gave them more projectile size, luck, and all that, improved their ability with uh, some more duration of cooldown. We're going to dive right in with Abe over here. That's the one. Those are all their stats right there. And we're going to do, I think we do the Dark Age again. And ooh, flying enemies are immune to ground weapons. Okay. So Amoeba and Red Leech are ground weapons. They don't hurt flying weapons. That's good to be aware of. Uh, basic info, WSD, yeah, yeah, uh, presidential barrier, creates a barrier, yeah, yeah, got it, alright. So we can press space, and put down a barrier, and it protects us, does it protect us? I don't know if they, I feel like they ran around it, I don't know. It's supposed to protect us from enemies, but it's just like a solid line there. Also, we have the relic hunting thing now, that points us towards where the nearest relic is, we can go down and pick that up. If you haven't seen this game before, it is Time Survivors. A survival roguelike game with some very neat, neat uh, twists on it. Balls of fire, literally fire and forget. Yeah, I'll, t I'll take fireball as one of my four weapons. We got the flail, we got the fireball. Uh, relic compass, yes, there in the lower of the corner is a powerful artifact, points towards the closest relic shrine. Follow it, get the uh, curse and powers. And Damascus Steel is found around the shines. Got it. Don't show that again. Open these things. Anything in those? No. But uh, basically, you go down, you accept a curse, and you get a reward for that curse. And the curse is sometimes like survive enemies, sometimes it's like you get small or slow, whatever. All right, what's up, dudes? I also, this is apparently where I find Damascus Steel. You guys are quick and aggressive. Yo, yo, love them. Is this a new weapon? I don't remember this one. Tactical dance of attack and retreat. Maneuver to control its path. Very peculiar weapon, leveraging critical chance. I don't know about that. Bigger shots, bigger impact. This works really well with uh, Abe Lincoln here because he's all about, like, uh, size. So let's give him the telescope. And now the size of this thing will be large. What is this? Is this, like, if I destroy this, it gives me a, a Damascus Steel? Ice Orb, damage and freeze nearby enemies. Amoeba, health file. Um, what have I re-rolled here? A little bit of re-roll. Uh, flail ammo plus one. I'll take that. Give my ammo better. Ammo uh, flail is his starting weapon here. Yeah, let's go ahead and damage this thing. Surely, uh, did I get damage for touching that? Lucky hand, fingers crossed for good luck, higher chance of finding rare items of favorable events. Let's level up my fireball, improve the cooldown, and have it do 50 more damage, that's fine. I'll keep working on this thing over here, because I don't know what it is. I'm hoping it drops Damascus Steel, because it's a sword, and you know, you made the sword out of Damascus Steel, is that right? Yo-Yo seems new, probably. Yeah, I think Yo-Yo might be new, maybe we should check it out at some point. Give me, what do you drop, giant sword of somethingness? You drop steel. Uh, winged boots for swiftness, or um, let's get the fireball, more damage, speed, and ammo. I need to get my DPS up right now. It, yeah, it did give me one Damascus steel. So you take out the sword, they give you Damascus steel. I get it. All right. These guys might have tons of hit points. I don't know. Sling. Do we get the, if I max out the sling and it unlocks uh, something new, I might want to get that. Yeah, let's get the sling. Shoot the close enemy. It's a little bit powerful. I want it mostly to, if I max out, I can unlock something in the meta progress, which I want. Okay, you guys are a problem. Golden Goblet, Golden Chalice for extra wealth. Uh, more ammo and size on the sling. Let's do that. We'll shoot more shots. I need to take this thing out here. Actually, first I need to deal with you. We can do two at once. Double, double trouble. We took that out. Select a relic. Choose your order wisely. This is the relic thing. Uh, steel apple or golden apple. Curse we lifted. Survive for 60 seconds while giant skull snakes are coming after you. Reward your maxi points doubled. But the effect of all healing items and buffs is cut in half. I don't like that. Golden apple. You must pick up one apple. Until then, any vase you break that does not contain an apple will spawn a golden gargoyle. Reward. Killed enemies have a chance of dropping an apple. Sure. Let's, 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 that seems not too bad. And I can focus on hunting this guy. We are cursed for the moment though. Crossbow, magic certificate, faster leveling up, more power to wield. Um, portable lightning storm, galvanizing. Crossbow, do I want the crossbow? Mm, sure, I'll just go for the crossbow because it shoots in front of me, right? Well, it, oh, dodge that. There we go. Flea will do a nice work on that, though. I need to hunt down that guy. Maybe a little bit of extra movement speed would be kind of nice. Um, flail size, sling, cooldown, damage, ammo. Let's get that. Yeah, more damage on the sling. Um... Yeah, follow you down. I need to find an apple eventually. Find some vases to break, but you, I want to hunt down because you'll drop a nice little package for me. That's a golden gargoyle! Oh, that's the curse! Oh no! That's actually kind of, I didn't realize they're so big and scary and fast. That's a problem. Uh, enemy piercing on this crossbow attack. Uh, oh, oh yeah, give me, give me a flail size 10%. Take that and some gold. Uh, drop the barrier. Okay, oh, they don't have, t their, their hit points not, is not too crazy. Okay, that's not so bad. 
Uh, they hit for a lot of damage, though. But I can knock them back a bit. Oh, my goodness. I need to find an apple stat. I didn't realize how nasty these guys are. Okay. An apple. Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness. End that curse. Okay, now there's more chance. Now enemies have a chance of dropping animal, apples for healing. Good to know. <laughs> All right. Um, let's get the crossbow so I can have more uh, shots in front of me. Good for, like, piercing my way out of trouble if I'm surrounded by tough enemies. I'm gonna follow this. There's two relics per map, if I remember correctly, unless they changed it. Coil for no- yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna do the- uh, We're playing as Abe Lincoln right now. I'll, I'll save the, the, the Tesla coil. Did I say we're playing as Nikolon Accent? We're playing as- we're playing as uh, Abe Lincoln here. Apples plus two. I don't know what that means. Is that how many apples I picked up, or is that, like, how many bonus apples I'm getting? I don't know. But, uh, there's a chance they have of dropping apples. Or that's how many I've, like, gathered from it? I don't get it. First time catching a stream? Hello, it's Eugene Chat. Hey, welcome in. How you doing? Um, apples plus four. Is that just how many I have dropped because of that relic? Just keeping track of how many have dropped? I think that, I think that just keeps track of how many apples have dropped because of that relic I picked up. Um, let's get uh, more ammo on the flail. Be good. I mean, I should go back and pick it up and top up my health, right? Man, my guy's slow. A little bit of swiftness would be good. The movement speed would be good. Hey, what's up, Buns? How you doing? Welcome in. First time catching the stream. All those you, I already read your message. I didn't read. I quite often read the messages without reading the um the name that's attached to them. What's up, Buns? How you doing? Welcome in. Let's take out this. Uh, I think they're called rat bits. I'm not sure. This guy's not too tough. Give me the item. Flail 50% knockback. Yes. Give me that sweet, sweet knockback increase. Um, I don't want to do. This is not really worth going until you have all five slots unlocked because I'm going to have these things maxed out of levels before we even each reach the end of the timers. So I don't need that. Uh, this is just for like meta progress farming. Let's go for the damage and size and the flail. Get that cooking. And let's go ahead and murk these guys a little bit. And I'm going to press space just to put that down. It's fun. Ooh, it kind of pushes me back a little bit. It's there to protect me from one side or the other, I guess. So, I mean, it's, it's a thing. It's there. I don't know that I find his ability the most amazing. I don't know, maybe it'll help me in a time of need. Let's get the sling size was 20%. Shoot those slings. Did they just go where I'm like aiming? Or they, no, they just fu the sling fires randomly at nearby enemies. I feel like we're doing pretty strong. Don't get that microchip to really get us cooking and throwing the damage around. Love that. I need to follow the little arrow on the bottom left there. It's pointing over to the uh, top right so I can go for another relic. Hopefully it's a good one. Give me some gold there. Sling is that nearest enemy? Yeah. It's the, it's the crossbow that points forward. If I get that sling to level 8, though, I unlock, uh, I think, Ned, which would be good, because that's another character to play. This game, to unlock new stuff, you have to, like, uh, accomplish things in your runs, reach a certain time, beat a level, etc. All I gotta do is take that out, that's easy. Uh, Steel Apple. Um, I don't, I don't love the reward. Max HP is doubled as cool, but cutting the healing effect in half makes it kind of stinky. The effect of all healing items and buffs in general, or healing, or is that just healing buffs? I don't think I ever want the Steel Apple. Unless I don't have any healing items or buffs coming in, right? Heart of Gold. You must collect five gold nuggets any, until the, any vase you break that does not contain a, nugget, contain a nugget will spawn a golden gargoyle. We've dealt with that already, right? Reward. Only when you are about to die, you lose gold instead of hit points when hit. One hit point equals ten gold. So basically, if I'm about to die, I, I, don't, I don't actually want that. I'll pass. I don't want that. You want to know why? Because there's a chance I don't beat this level. And even with that relic, there's a chance I don't beat this level. And what that means is like, oh, I'm about to die. Oh, I'm, eh, I not then yeah, I just I just lose all my gold and then die anyways. And then we made like very little meta progress. And we don't. That's why I don't want that flail ammo plus one. We take. That's why we don't take that because it could screw up my meta progress. So something to be aware of in this game is that like you don't have to take the curses if there's a curse that you don't want or you don't want in this particular run. Don't take it. One one curse is fine, right? Uh, sling, level 5. Actually, winged boots, swiftness set your features to it. Yeah, I want that, I want that movement speed increase, because my boy, he only has default movement speed. I want to move fast. So let's get the fireball level 1, cool down minus 1 second, to size was 50%. I'm all about that. Let's get going and vibing. I will say, these survival games are a little bit harder to reach at while playing. <laughs> Did you actually need a lot of gold as meta progression? Um, I don't know. We'll find out. It's, it's a whole new game since I played it since the demo. Uh, ammo plus 1. On the crossbow, yeah, yeah. Let's get these things cooking, get my damage floating. So now that we've gotten, oh, Damascus steel, yes. I should have looked around the other graveyard more, trying to find more Damascus steel. We got five Damascus steel. That's great. I will pick up that magnet, I think, over there. Um, yeah, uh, more speed and uh, ammo on the fireball. Get those things cooking. A little bit of a mech. Don't need the apple. I'm at full health. Look around for more steel. Yeah, we should. We, I missed out on steel the last. I could find more steel. Oh well. Gem catcher attracts shiny loot like a magnet. So if I want to collect XP from farther away, maybe. 
Maybe we focus on a uh, sling damage ammo first. Maybe we get that later. I've got four slots. I'm not sure I want those other two slots. Yeah, so note to self, when you go get to the relics, make sure you really search around for the, um, the Damascus Steel first. Ah, okay, okay, so I can get, so this is my guy's Billy. At the five minute mark, I get to pick an upgrade, then 10, then 15, right? 10, uh, 10, 15. Cherry trees up, so it blocks more, have it go down faster. Duration longer, more cherry trees, more charges, cause damage to someone over enemies. Um, let's go for, what if we did cherry trees, cherry trees, and then they cause damage when summoned over them, right? Yeah, cherry trees plus two. Now we have more cherry trees and just create a barrier. Not sure how useful this ability is. We'll see. Maybe it's clutch. Maybe it's a not you know, like there's gonna be some characters with amazing abilities. Some characters will have like meh abilities. It's gonna be a thing. Let's do flail level eight, more damage and size. Love that. This looks hard. Um, eh, I don't know. I, I find like uh, uh these survival games like this. They're actually fairly. Like, as far as, like, skills and coordination and reflexes, hand-eye coordination, all that, I find them to be, fa like, fairly easy um, in that regards. Uh, when it comes to, like, winning a run, it mostly comes down to just, like, making meta progress after playing runs and being familiar with the game. So, like, it's actually, I, f I find these kind of games, the entire genre, a uh, horde survival, bolt heaven, whatever you want to call it, to be very accessible. Proje projectile size was 10%. I would take that. Yeah, make my projectiles bigger. Uh, size was 20% on my sling. Make that stronger and better. Yeah. So I would actually say, like, these games are... It's more like just fire up the game. Um, play it. And um, if it's your first time ever playing a game within this genre, maybe the first few hours are kind of like a, a bit of a learning experience, but it's fun learning experience. But once you've played a, a survival ga genre game like this for, like, five or ten hours that transfers over to everyone in the genre so i find it to be it's very easy to once you've played one it's very easy to pick up the next one the next one, the next one very accessible ammo plus one it's kind of like the concept like one maybe if it's your first time ever playing a first person shooter like um i don't know uh doom or something like that maybe it's a bit overwhelming but once you've played a first person shooter then it transfers very easily over to the next uh first person shooter the next the next the next same thing with this. Maybe your first time playing a survival, um, horde survival roguelike game. It's a bit overwhelming the first time, but once you go over to another one... Yeah, I came back here. Look at these guys. I actually, they don't actually have much hit points here. Love a bit. Give me that Damascus Steel minute progress. Um, once you've played one and you're kind of familiar with the genre, then it's very, very, like, very easy to pick up another and go through it. And you, you just have, you're just aware that, like, yes, yeah, sometimes, you know, a little bit of uh, meta progress grinding is required to get further in the levels. Um, more movement speed is sounding kind of tempting. I'm actually, I feel like I'm moving kind of slow. I'll take the movement speed. Gotta go here in Norway. It's 11.31. Alright, take it easy. It's kind of it's kind of cool having people watch from all over the place. Any more Damascus steel around here? Not on the right side. I see that gold there and I want it. I want that gold. What I'm hearing is that you think I'd be great at all games. <laughs> uh, sure. <laughs> I'll go with that. No. I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't mean to like. <laughs> oh, it's so easy. Even, oh, even uh, buns can play it. I don't mean to. If I, if I sounded, made it sound like that, I apologize. That's, <laughs> that's not my intent. I just, you know, I, I like. This is probably my favorite genre. We unlocked Anita, new hero. This is probably my fa favorite genre. And I don't want people to be like overwhelmed and you know, not give it a chance. I want people to try it, right? Fireball level six, cooldown minus 0.5 seconds. So if, if somebody pops in and says, man, this looks hard, my instinctive response is gonna be like, no, 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 <laughs> it's actually it's actually fairly easy and fun. Like, I think a big part of the reason why I enjoy the genre so much is because mechanically, as far as like your hand-eye coordination goes, it's actually very easy, which I like it because I don't like games that are like stressful, like, oh, every moment's like a, you know, make or break moment. Uh, sling the late, more damage, uh, more size. That should give us uh, the unlock for Ned. Uh, no, the iron. No, that, Ned wasn't Ned. It was iron balls. Unlocked iron balls for us, which is good. Um, does, that, does it make available this run? I don't know. But that gives us the ability to have more. Um, you grab that, and you can have like you know. Right now, I'm slinging around what four flails? That could give me like five flails, six flails. It really massively improves the DPS of your weapons. Size plus thirty percent of my fire. I will take that. Yeah, that seems pretty good. Love that for us. Um. The cell popes are back. Their performance is not perfect, however. <laughs> yeah, yeah. These uh, I mean, oh, I guess we are taking them all out. But like, some of these enemies, I mentioned in the last video, some of these enemies look like a uh, cell from DBZ. They look the head on them. Let's. Do you want to? I need to pick my second and or my third and fourth time here eventually. Do I want lucky hand? 
or do I want Golden Goblet? No, let's just go for damage and ammo and wait to see what pops up. I'm not sure I want those extra slots. Maybe like the Iron Balls unlocks within this run. I can get it. The Rat Bits over here, little mini uh, bosses here. More, they're not even mini bosses, they're like elites, I guess. These are elites, will drop some uh, rewards for us. We're feel I'm feeling pretty strong. Telescope, uh, projectile size with 10%, we take that, love that. And... Yeah, uh, let's just get the gem, the gem catcher to see what it's all about. Let's get the 20% size on the fireball, love that, thank you. And the gem catcher, does that just make me collect XP from farther away? I don't know. Um, shield would probably be good, I think that would be a good choice. Let's get the crossbow leveled up here. More damage size, ammo, enemy piercing is nice. We like this. I think I've gotten all the Damascus steel around here. I can probably roam around the map a bit more. Would you try Spinch to see if uh, Fireball can evolve with it? Does this game have evolutions? I don't remember if this game has evolutions or not. Maybe it does. I mean, either way, Spinch just for the damage boost is good. Power attacks the Leafy Green boost. Shouldn't it tell me what, how much the first one does? I think it's 10%. Reach plus 2 meters. Let's get that. Yeah. Maybe it does evolve. I'm not sure if like weapon combining and evolving is a thing in this game or not. I don't remember. Maybe it was. I don't recall. Let's go explore the map a bit more. Oh, the poor rat bit corpse sitting there. Dead as dead could be. Alright, um... Let's get, uh... Crossbow, level 7 damage, or ammo, yeah. Get, keep my, get my weapons maxed out first. These three are already maxed out, hence the different border around that square over there. Looking great. Get that one maxed out as well. You don't have the fifth slot for the weapon, or the fifth slot for the item unlocked yet, but in due time, we will. Skelly boys are just good XP farming right there. I'm gonna run around the map. Maybe I can find a, um, oh, a oh, nine minute mark, here comes Cerberus. I can put up a wall here. Maybe the walls are good for like, the, yeah, the walls are good for the bosses. Um, let's improve the crossbow here. More ammo, all, size, all that. I can aim this. Does it block its projectiles? If it, I think it blocks its projectiles. Okay, his ability is actually a lot better than I realized because it blocks not only the, the boss here, but also this projectile. Ouch, I'm getting hurt here, I need to pay attention here. So actually his ability might be pretty good here. Let's make strength plus 10% so we can do more damage here. Dodge your fire if I can. Levels up like crazy. Um, make projectiles be larger so they can reach you from farther away would be good. And, ouch, try not to get here. Put down my barrier again. And now you're stuck on the other side. You can't hit me so I can just damage you freely here until that goes down. That's actually really nice. Okay, okay, I take it back. Er everything I said about this man's, uh, Abraham Lincoln's uh, cherry blossoms, I take it back. Ooh, guardian heart, collect that. Thank you. I take it back, it's actually really good for dealing with the bosses. Um, 10% more damage to keep ourselves, like, DPS competitive would be good. Give me all this monster's gold. Feeling much stronger this run than the previous one. Which is good, because we I dumped some points into making this man stronger, right? He's doing great. And... Do we want to... Get the size temperature. You just get him, just look at the size of this man's projectiles. You know, unlock radioactive skull, very cool. The size of this man's projectiles is astounding. Just look at him. Uh, movement speed, no, 10%. Get the damage up. Get my damage up as best we can. Give me the magnet to pick that magnet up to get some more loot. Um, honestly, maybe this, these, they, they block the boss just fine. I think duration. Have it stay out longer. Have it stay out longer. That way it can block the next uh, bosses even better. The man's got some big balls. Let's see what you just did there. <laughs> Strength plus 10%. We take these. They are flails. They're strong. Uh, move speed plus 10%. Let's get the plus 2 meter gem catcher. I, it says attract loot like a shiny magnet. I'm going to stand right here, try and level up, and once I level up again, and I'll, I'll, I'll get the level up on the gem thing again, maybe it'll pick these things up here, and then we'll know that it is an XP magnet. I'm going to stand here for a little bit till we level up, and I want to like these right here, like looking at that one right there, or these two right here. Once I level up again, we get this. Does it pick these up? It dies! It inc Oh, it's an XP- it's so- so- it's XP. This will- whatever- whatever it was called there, it just lets you- The Gem Catcher. It lets you pick up experience from farther away. I don't know if it affects gold and stuff like that. Probably, right? I picked up that apple from really far away, it does. Yeah, 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 it, it's all loot. It's- it's experience, it's- it's everything. Okay, uh, more movement speed here. It's everything, it picks up the- the- the, the range from which I pick up everything. Gold. I- I-, I or I assume gold. More movement speed, we'll find out. And find some gold and pick that up from across the board, right? It's good to know exactly what it does. Movement speed, there we are. A big part of like figuring out a new, um, when you're playing a new survival genre game like this, is just gaining familiarity with what the different items and weapons do. So the first few hours are quite often just exploratory of like, what does this do? What does that do? I've played this game before, so I kind of like know a lot what's going on with it. 
And these are new. Have I seen these guys before? Have I seen these enemies before? Maybe yeah. Time to explore here. Looks like we got a... Uh, there's stuff also different types of ways. There's like XP farming waves and there's like easy waves. There's a lot of enemies on the screen. Time to stand still and farm XP. Or oh, if you're like, you're um... Oh, there's not that many enemies on the screen. There's just a few ones, but they have like lots of hit points. That's a good time to run around the map exploring, looking for more things. Oh, mushroom mode, baby! Picked up a mushroom, let's go! Oh, I love mushroom mode. It's my favorite thing in the world. You get big and just for a limited amount of time, you're around stomping enemies doing damage. They run away in panic. I love it so much. I love it so much. It's amazing. It's so good. All right. We are doing amazing things here. Carving through things beautifully. Do some projectiles auto-aim? They do. Some pro the, the, the slingshots are auto-aiming. The um, flails just like shoot in an area around me. My crossbows just shoot whatever direction I'm facing. I see you rat bit guys trapped down here. I think they're called rat bits. They might have changed the name. I don't know. I remember I even saw the names, but we'll get you guys carved out of here. Give me your sweet, sweet loot at this point. Yeah, it just drops gold for us. That's nice. Oh, they changed it. It used to be like it'd pop up through the animation. Now it just drops the gold. Once I max out on these things, it just drops the gold. And that's, that's, man. These developers have been hard at work the last 10 months to make this game even. It was already good. The game was already good 10 months ago, and they've really been polishing up even more. Great work. And it was fun because I, like, I was like, when I was making videos on it, they were like leaving comments on my videos and taking feedback. I was like, oh man, when the when you when you when you get the mushroom mode and you level up during the mushroom mode and it interrupts the, the feel of you stomping enemies, that kinda like harshes the vibe and they're like, Yeah, oh, that's good feedback. We'll make it so that when you level up, it just saves them until the mushroom mode ends, and then you get the levels up and choose levels. And it just it was cool. It, I love I love like getting involved and in making videos for a game and giving these small indie developers feedback on it and they're like, Oh yeah, it's you know helping them. It just it just feels good, man. It just feels good. I had like a thing where like uh, when I was playing Wall World, I was making videos on it and uh, they'd watch my videos and I'd like I'd find bugs and they're like, oh that is a problem. That is a bug. What if you added in this you know thing? Like there's when you in Wall World when you like attach to it and you put a little uh there's a little like blue force field that stops your loot from falling out. I was I was one of the people, probably other people suggested too, but I was one of the people that suggested that and they put it in I don't know, it's 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 such a crazy world where I'm living in where I can like even on videos only get like a couple thousand views, the developers sometimes will find them and you know, I I or sometimes my viewers make suggestions and then they do it and it becomes part of the game and like we become part of the development of the games that we're playing and I don't know, I just I find that so neat. It's so cool. Yeah, I get more videos playing Risk or whatever or Territory IL, but being like just having the ability to like get involved in the creation process like this is just, just such an interesting experience, really. You get these birds out of here. These birds don't take damage from ground-based weapons like the leeches or amoebas, what I said on the tooltips, so... Good thing I don't have too many- I don't have any ground-based weapons here against these guys, right? Oh, the milk's- the milk and chat. Oh, we got a- we got a time circle! Okay, we got a- Oh boy, rough time to get a time circle, because these birds will probably try and push me out of it. Take some damage here. Although we're actually doing alright, the knockback and the flails doing work for us. We're doing nice against these birds here. Stay in the circle, dodge the little red flies. It's really hard to see the, the little red boys. This game apparently has, uh, like, you can do different, uh, modes. You can unlock different modes from that. So one of them is ghost mode. That makes it harder to visually see the enemies. I'm already struggling. There's so much going on on my screen right now that... I can't imagine how, how hard ghost mode would be, but... If you're looking for a challenge, unlock ghost mode and make them, like, mostly transparent and hard to see would add an extra level of challenge. They only hit for two... The little red guys only hit for two damage, so it's not so bad they touch you. I don't even have a shield or anything, so... Maybe it's not so bad, it's just the being trapped in one spot. I mean, I guess the damage does add up. Give me that time crystal. Um, I level up first, because it's a 15 minute mark. Cherry trees cause damage to some of our enemies. Three charges. I don't know what three charges means. Maybe that I means I can just, like, drop it three times? Time crystal, give me. You've seen mushroom mode, I can sleep happy, have fun sleep. <laughs> yeah, mushroom mode is amazing. So, I do have three charges. I can just drop it once. I can drop it again. Oh, I can, like, perfectly encapsulate myself, or mostly encapsulate myself. And then it goes on cooldown for 18 seconds, so you can just do a better job encapsulating yourself. That's kind of neat. Yeah, that's right, that's right, I guess. I'm not sure how best to use that. I feel like one is enough to, like, protect yourself from the boss, right? When's the boss coming? 16 minute mark? 18 minute mark? Don't remember. 112 apples have dropped in that relic. That's kind of neat that it counts how many have dropped. That's cool. Just let you know how many have dropped because of that. These guys are, like, tanky boys. Oh, oh, oh! I, I used my presidential cherry tree at probably not the best time. Uh, I got the bosses coming towards me over here. Um, what if I were to drop this for you? Wait, if I don't drop the next charge, the timer doesn't reset. I can really milk this for extra time. That's actually pretty good. Oh, that's actually yeah, extra charge is pretty. Oh, don't work your way, don't don't work your way around it. 
Oh, oh no, another charge. Oh, and it doesn't go on cooldown the whole time. That seems very strong against the bosses here. I can put one down, wait for it to go away, put another one down, wait for it to go away. They put down the third charge, and it really buys a lot of, oh, uh, they're getting around. It buys a lot of extra time for us to, like, beat up the boss here. You guys are, oh, they're working their way around it, though. That's not quite so great. Help, help, help. Why are you, you have so much hit points? Oh, I guess the boomerang has better for DPS than what I'm using here. All right, I need my thing to go off cooldown would be great. Uh, fire does, like, 10 damage per hit. That's a lot. Block those shots for me. Cherry trees of amazingness. Oh, <laughs> baby. Nice and tanky. These aren't even the final boss. Oh, no, 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 don't, 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 don't you work your way past my little cherry trees of protection. There we go. Give me all that gold. Get the golden heart. Silver hook unlocked. Great. Garden heart. Yeah, that, the, the gem catcher helps me pick up that stuff from a distance. Uh-oh, we got tough boys coming in, though. All right. Maybe I work my way over this way. How about this to block you guys off while I kind of damage down here a little bit, right? Enemies are getting smarter. I like so Abe, Abe Lincoln's ability actually pretty good. The fact that it blocks our projectiles. Time circle. Okay, ouch. Like, oh boy, I'm gonna be trying to dodge these guys while dealing with you. I need to. I need to put. Okay, okay, you guys are. You might be a little too tanky for me to uh, stay in the circle. Have a barrier. Uh, no, I'm on the wrong side of the barrier. I killed myself. <laughs> no. Uh, in game. <laughs> no. All right. But that, that's that's all we got. Good run. I had a great time. But that's it. Uh, see you next time.